Hi, Annie here, and this week I have a very special unboxing video, and that is... Ta -da! I have the 3D edition of the Wizard of Oz box set. This is limited edition to 220,000. I've got like 70,000 and some odd. And I'm very excited about this. This is one of my favorite movies from like childhood. I think it was just, I don't know. I don't know if it was like a favorite movie I chose or like a favorite movie kind of other people chose for me. And then I ended up with so much of like, you know, the dolls and the, all the accoutrements that it just ended up being like my thing. I don't know. I do like the movie now though. I still did. And I did, definitely meant a lot to me at different points, but this, you know, I didn't actually have it on Blu-ray already. I don't have a 3D player or through DTV or anything like that. But for the price, I couldn't resist the set overall. Um, it went on an Amazon kind of like, I don't know whether it was a one-day deal or just like a kind of more flash sale. But anyway, here it is. And it's quite like a heavy uh, set. And it's in this box. And it says... Wizard of Oz on both ends and then the back is this kind of like pearlized finish. The front also has like holographic uh, like twinkles on it where the, for the around the the Emerald City there and there's also the lettering is raised. So let's see here. This is the lid and this is probably the boring part here to do that but so once you get inside it's opened and there's a ribbon across the top and this book is sitting on top and let's see here we go it's not like a super thick book but it is like a hard back one and the cover is quite nice again kind of like the dual tone it's a timeline of the production and with pictures so as you probably know if you've uh, looked at film history at all or know much about that 19 uh, 39 years there's so much stuff that has been made about it but the Wizard of Oz took quite a long time and had a number of like, kind of false starts and stops as they went along and here's another one here a lot of the pictures are in black and white some are from behind the scenes and then there's ones like costume tests and stuff like that here with uh, Judy Garland with different length hair and there was there's that for all the kind of characters um, black and white photos of like most of them are black and white photos even when they're like stuff that seems like more of like a screen grab here um, and then across there we go there's lots of pictures though some I've never seen before a lot that I have um, then they also go down to where the Academy Awards are happening and Judy Garland and her I believe uh, Mickey Rooney was her escort that night I think anyway um, he certainly was the one that presented her with the award there and so that's like where it ends there on February 29th 1940 at the Academy Awards and so it's a nice book nice hardback book so the next layer down and sitting like that is a map and this is on heavy cardstock I'd say maybe 140 or a bit less uh, pound paper and it's the map that I believe is actually from the interior cover of the Oz book. It was original artwork done for the book, I believe, rather than the movie. Um, at least I think this is the map that's inside. It's very similar to the map that's inside the cover of my uh, book. Except not the, like it didn't have red slippers and this stuff at the corners, but I believe the overall map is quite similar. And then it's marked at the back with what it is there and the next thing in is in the same side a glossy sheet which is a screen shot or a production still from the movie and then on the back it's talking about the Wizard of Oz 75th anniversary production book um, and so this has again more behind the scenes photos uh, removal of a memorabilia including lobby cards movie posters so it's basically an ad this is but it's still I think quite a nice um, you know picture if not super crisp and clear so in the next layer down is the journal and this is a super heavy duty 
hardback journal again just really hard and I really this when I saw this this actually really made me wish that I'd picked up two of these sets because the price was just amazing on this one day set and the interior of the journal is the um the the front pages like the interior cover is the movie posters and diff some different movie posters from the time and then the pages themselves have kind of like a watermarked tornado across all of them and those that's on every page and there's nothing different on other pages in the back cover is again the posters it's got the elastic to go around I probably would have preferred a ribbon um, but because the elastics tend to die on notebooks like this you know they they don't last forever so if you want it as a keepsake notebook that will tend to, to go on it but the back there has another um, some art and then the side is again saying the Wizard of Oz and that is a raised kind of graphic there and slightly yeah and slightly metallicized so in the next layer there is this is a, the snow globe that it came with now this was like heavily advertised in the promotion I think this is a bit disappointing in the size of it I didn't know it was going to be small because when I read the Amazon reviews this was mentioned at how small this was and it lights up so it doesn't really it's not like a slow snow globe in the sense that the glitter never really seems to settle in it but that's okay like it you know it looks nice the it glows red I'm not like super taken with this that's the kind of thing that when I was younger I would have like died killed for probably but well not literally but you know what I mean I would have really enjoyed but um, it just doesn't add a lot more excited about the journal and some of the other things here uh, I'm gonna save the best thing for last but this is this is the second to last thing and this is the movies and the copies itself and so it's in you know a blu-ray case and the first thing in it is the 3d uh, movie and then the next thing is the blu-ray feature film and special features and then another blu-ray disc full of special features the last thing here is the DVD copy and special features that are on that disc and the final disc in here is the um, how did they it's a double-sided disc and then it is when the lion roars and then part one and two uh, on this one so that's like an M a documentary about MGM so I'm excited to see that stuff this also this one also has the dreamer of Oz which was made in the 90s and starred John Ritter and was about kind of Frank Elbaum's life really or Al Frank Baum I always get those uh, the initials backwards there but that was an excellent kind of TV movie. I know we taped it off the, uh, like, whatever network it was on at the time. I used to watch it quite frequently, so I'm looking forward to seeing that again. I haven't seen it in quite a lot of years. Um, it wasn't one that got re-aired as much as I would have guessed, like, on television in the years since. So that is it there. And the final thing, which was the thing I was most excited about here, is this. And it come, came in a little case, and again, it's quite a, a heavy, nice, uh, nice cardboard box there. And this is what I was most excited about. These are three pins, each representing what the lion, the scarecrow, and the tin man were searching for. So for the scarecrow, they have a little diploma and this is probably the least impression impressive pin of the three it's nice it's got um, glitter which is loose glitter on top but it seems to stick relatively well but I know over time there will be pieces that come off of that and then the heart is next and that's the tin man his heart and that it's a not a working clock inside of it it is just a um, like a painted on clock this one is really nice I really like the finish like I think it's probably an enamel finish on the red part of the heart uh, definitely the white part as well it's like that um, finish and anyway that's what the back looks like there it's just the little um, I don't know if you can see it's the kind that you just pinch the edges and it comes off it comes off easier than that I just didn't get a good I'm on an awkward angle and it does have um, a stamp on the back of it to doesn't say like Oz or anything but it does have like tech and the actual like code on it for the copyright or whatever it is 
the like kind of the branding not the branding what am i trying to think of the hallmark um which i'm sure isn't anything too you know impressive or anything but it probably does make it uh, identifiable later on and then this is the courage badge and that was the cowardly lion i really do like this one as well quite nice quite big like it's here i don't know if i'm sitting up tall enough here but it's like quite a big uh brooch or pin they're like decently weighted the the back does feel like secure enough that it won't be falling off because of the weight of the pin and i do think that that's like quite a really nice uh quite a nice one that was one of the things when i ordered this i wasn't quite sure how, what the quality of this kind of thing would be so like i said the paper and that in the notebook and these definitely like exceeded my expectations on that point and certainly for what i paid for it so that was all that was in my little box and uh i like i said i was really happy with this i wish i'd gotten a second one i would i should have I like toyed with the idea briefly, but then I was like, knowing my luck, it'll just be, I'll be unhappy with it and it won't work out. So I didn't get it, but I really wish I did. And if I see this on sale for that price or even possibly a little bit more, I think I will pick up a second one just to be able to have um, the pieces for like gifts um, or uh, the full thing as a gift, but just because it, it is a really, really nice uh quality set and I should say that the box it comes in is relatively kind of uh impressive as well in weight it's not like the thickest box again I have but it's a decent box and even uh, again like I said I would have uh, picked this up even just because for having a second box to be able to uh, put stuff in so I just realized the corner is damaged I think it must have come like that I haven't really looked at it much since I got it it's just been sitting kind of flat since I got it so it must have arrived like that and I just hadn't noticed because of the external slip cover so and like I said this has the information on it that you for purchase and I'm actually going to put a blog post up on this one as well with some more pictures and uh, if you have any questions be sure to let me know. Uh, have you bought any of these big kind of collector sets before? I'd love to hear if you have and whether or not you've had any good luck or bad luck with them. I'd, I'd appreciate hearing what you've experienced. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I put a new video every Wednesday and on the weekends I often put one up as well. Usually they're on movies and TV shows, sometimes they're on, you know, general kind of life stuff, occasionally a tag, sometimes a little bit of crafting thrown in. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in all, I'd love for you to subscribe and to leave me a comment and we can chat and all that good stuff. So make sure to visit the blog post and I'll see you soon.